Hello everyone. Welcome back to BTNX channel. Today we are going to see how we can use VLOOKUP in Excel with the help of ChatGPT. Okay. So we'll do some examples and we will come to know better about VLOOKUP. Okay. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something, you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something, you are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. So now let's go into the chat GPT. Okay. So this is the my chat GPT screen. Okay. Imagine that I am new to VLOOKUP and I have a lot of fear factors about VLOOKUP. Okay. If I look into the VLOOKUP, uh, uh, the formulas, I am getting panic. Okay. So I want to come out of the thing. For that, I need to go step by step. Okay. So I am asking Chat GPT, give me Excel VLOOKUP. with an example, the basic example, the basic examples, okay. Let's see how it is. Otherwise, we will give different prompt, okay. So it, it is giving, yes, uh, certainly the VLOOKUP function, it is giving the uh, description and also it is giving the syntax okay so this will be the syntax and uh, look up okay so this is the look up the value to search in the first and this will be the table array column index number range lookup true or false all the details are there okay now let's go step by step with an example okay we have got some one example okay so i am taking this uh, example okay i am using okay taking this example into an excel sheet Okay, this is the basic Excel sheet I have. I'm adding the same thing, product ID. Okay, and the product name. And uh, 1001 here this apple okay and 100 to banana and 100 here re 1004 date 1005 elderberry okay so these are the examples now let's go over here okay we want to find the product id of 1003 okay so for 1003 the product the product name is cherry okay we want to find so what we are doing means I want to extract over here or here. Okay. I am keeping it here. Okay. It is in D12. So overall we have uh, like uh, from A1 to B6. Okay. So we have, so this is A1, A2. So this is B6. So A1 to B6, we have the values. Okay. So I am taking this. Okay. So we will see, okay, what is this? The formula such as for the value 1003 in the range A2 to B6, find the third row of the table and results the value cherry, okay? So I'm taking this part, okay? As I said, anywhere, okay? Because in, in case if we want to find over here, okay? I am pasting it here. Okay. Yeah, as I said, we got cherry, okay? So, now guys okay now we have asked for 1003 okay so the value is cherry okay so if you want to look for 1004 it should for the 1004 the product name should be date okay so how to get that thing means go over here 
like this only you should understand okay start your v look up uh, samples by with these type of examples okay directly jumping into big formulas first be strong in your basics and then it will help you okay guys and uh, so and now since see this is two okay you can ask what is this two and uh, like i will tell you okay so the two is for we need the details of the product name okay if i want to get the details of the product id right for example then i should put one okay so instead of date it has come to 1004 okay so if i put over two you will get date. So similarly, if I want to find 1001, it will be Apple. 1002, it will be banana. Okay. So this is the way. Okay. And uh, as you all aware, what is false and true? Okay. It is written. True is it can be omitted. Okay, guys. So we look up will use approximate match if it cannot find in the exact for example now it is banana or uh, apple like that okay so for example uh, i'll put over here okay i am giving false right there is no 1006 right i am giving 1006 so it is giving not applicable because it is not there okay so i am i am adding okay so what it found means see 1006 there is no value 1006 as per the concept what it will do it will take the approximate okay it is see whereas false it should be exact okay if the 1006 is, was not there it gave not applicable okay but here it will take the approximate okay nearby for this example you may not be able to understand but if there is some set of numbers within the range you want to find so at that time that will help actually okay so that's what it is bringing the nearest part okay and uh, for example like uh, so this is the way case okay for example if i give one it will take 1005 because that is the nearest part so that is the way you should find for the true or uh, false okay uh, here is the so this is the sample example it has given uh, i am asking one more example So it is with a little higher value. So let's want to find the Charlie score in literature. Okay. Okay. So before that, guys, okay, one important uh, update. Okay. So as you all aware that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs so replaced by AI. And you don't want to get affected by this recession wave, right? So A will not replace you, but the person using the A will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Okay. And all the installation steps of the Excel or whatever the AI tools you are working will be explained detail in our BTNX program. Okay. So make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link in the below description. Okay, so if you go over here, okay, btnx done in, if you enter the btnx dot in, you will land up in this page, go to our workshop, okay, so you can see what are the workshops that are coming nearby, for example, AA tools, right, so if you go over there, you will land up in this page, so how to learn to use AA tools and chat GPT, and when the next uh, uh, workshop, it's on November 11th, Okay, and uh, so what are the bonus points you are getting and what are the like testimonials and reviews, okay, that you have got through this uh, workshop and people take, you could see the people, they're putting their valuable comments and also why to join this course, all these details are updated here. Okay, so don't miss the golden opportunity guys. Okay, so now let's go to the, our uh, program. Okay, so I have student ID, okay.
I have student ID and name max score. Like this only you should get the basics, guys. Okay. Literature score. Okay. So one zero one. Okay. I am giving allies. So the max score is 88, 92, and 102. Bob, 75, 85. Okay, and 103. Charlie. Ninety seventy eight one zero four Dana sixty five eighty one zero five Edward. 82, 90, okay? So these are the from A1 to D6, okay? These are the cell values we have. Okay, guys? So now I want to get the details over here. Okay? That is in G11, okay? So as per the thing, now let's say, okay, we want to find out Charlie's score in literature. Okay, so literature, where is Charlie's score is 78. Okay, so let's use this part. Okay, whatever they have given. So 103 is the lookup value. Okay, that's what, because Charlie's employee ID is, or sorry, student ID is 103. So they have given the lookup and uh, they are uh, like A2 is the table array, A2 to D6. Okay, that's what I represented over here like this. A2 to D6. It has to look. And 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because we are going to see what is the literature score for uh, Charlie. Okay. So that's the thing. They have given the score. And false means we want an exact match of the student ID. Okay. It, it should not bring something else. Okay. If I, okay. So that's what uh, it is looking for. Okay. And taking this count up. Since I need here, right? I said. So that is the Bob. Sorry, Charlie. 103 is we as per our requirement. We need to look for 103, right? So 103. Imagine if I want to look for one Dana means it will be 104. That will be 80. Okay. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. If I want to look for max score. Instead of four, I should give three. Okay. See, that is a max score. So this is the way, guys. Okay, you need to look for uh, uh, means the V lookup. Okay, if I would have given true, true is a default. So that is sixty-five. Okay, so if I would have given one zero nine. That is approximate it is taking, okay? Because 109 is not there, so the least part is 105, okay? Uh, so I hope, guys, you enjoyed this uh, session, actually. You uh, understood what is uh, VLOOKUP and how to execute that in uh, Excel. You have understood with the help of ChatGPT, okay? So my suggestion will be in case if you want to get some more familiar with this, do with the different examples, okay? Definitely, it will help you. Okay, guys. So thank you. See you again. Take care. Bye-bye.